Um, Tell us about the making of the first record. What was your greatest memories of that? Actually, the greatest memories of making the first record is getting just boning bitches in the fucking studio. <laughs> I was like, well, I swear to God, I was like, oh, cool, yeah, knobs and all that shit, recording the record, but I was like, we got, lo we got lounges. And we got like, there was Tempest, the video game, free, and there was... Which was, studio was that? It was, uh, what was it called? It was a Warner Brothers studio, I can't, Amigo. It's well, not Amigo, there, no, yeah, yeah, they bulldozed it by the subway over yeah. Noho. Yeah, it's Man, like fucking... Metallica, like, everybody recorded over there. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was fun, it was part of Warner Brothers shit, but it was... It was fun, it was our first record, you know, hanging out. And, you know, me, I'm singing, they're doing drums and <laughs> bass and guitars for most of the fucking whole tracking. And I go and do the vocals like in a few days, so it's like, the rest of the time I'm like, okay, this lounge is dark and comfy. <laughs> Lori, you know, you were there. <laughs> man, those songs still hold up, man. You're gonna be playing them tonight. What, what do you think the... You know, the magic of that was. It was just fun. We were all kids, so it's like... Just raw, we didn't raw have, energy? Yeah, and we didn't have... And we were only together 10 months when we started recording the record, too, so... It was... All the shit was new. <laughs> the songs were new. We were all new together. We, you know, we didn't know each other that good. We were all kids and shit, so... But it was fucking fun. It was just like non-stop. Okay, now we're gonna do this. Now we're yeah. gonna do that. Now we're gonna do this. So All the, of a sudden, we got a record deal. Like, yeah, the Electra, the Warner Machine. Yeah, they, going. Electra treated us great. They're, they're the perfect label for us. Yeah, yeah. it was really cool. It was good. So who's the inner guy? How did the deal go down? Peter Philbin. He just. Like I said we were only together ten months by the time we got our deal. So it's like he was following us from since we were like probably like our fifth, sixth show or something like that. So, well, I know you did tours with Kiss. I mean, what were some of the other memorable, like tours and festivals that just blew fucking your mind? Alice Cooper, fucking Molly, Motorhead, Man. Guns N' Roses, fucking all of David Lee Roth. I mean, all, most of all the tours we did were super fun. You know? Especially, especially back then, early days too. It was all like, it was all new to us, so we we're all just like killer. Yeah. We go on, especially Ed Bangers, we're support, Ball, MTV, we're, all we're that support shit, and shit. So we go on there and play for like a half hour. And we're done. And we're all out meeting people, yeah. and stuff. So, and of course, there's got to be the action around Kiss. You know, I mean, you probably grew up yeah. fantasizing. Yeah, what? well, we went out with Kiss the first time. There, I mean, they're all like, we went out with Kiss a few times, but they're all like, <clears throat> no makeup and stuff. So right. I go up. Top of the arena and shit. <laughs> Sit there, smoke a fatty and fucking pretend it was. I was in junior high school. It was love it was gun like, with cheap trick. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and I looked down. I see Gene dancing around these yeah. little LA Gear shoes with rhinestones on them, puckered like <laughs> Paul and stuff. I was like, wait. That dude needs to put his makeup back on. <laughs> but he did, and they, they, I mean, they kiss his kiss. They yeah, no, they that'll. Roll. that'll That'll never Kiss change, rules. man. I ran away from home. The only thing I took was my autograph, Paul Stanley. Where you where you from? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Seattle. Oh shit. What city? What town? In Seattle. Oh, in Seattle. Yeah. Now it's called Bellingham, man, right there between Seattle and Vancouver, man. Yeah, it's that's awesome. up north. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Now, now who were your heroes growing up? Who were the bands that just said, man, I gotta do this shit? Stones, Jackson Five, Cheap Trick. Kiss, fucking Sex Pistols. I saw the Sex Pistols, fucking uh, the Clash. Oh man, I put on I put on that first Clash show they ever did, Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver, man. Yeah, I saw the him, I saw Tour. the Clash at, in the front row. My friend, uh, my friend in like sixth grade, his dad was his, uh, I think it was the stage manager of the Paramount. In oh Seattle. yeah, I saw many. So shows it was like, there, remember getting put on the shoulders of this punk rocker next to me with his safety pin in his nose. When I was a kid, I was like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Wow, the but Paramount, it man. It was fun. It was general admission, so you'd line up all day, doors open, you run like fuck to get to the front. Yeah. And that we was it. We had front row, we didn't you have no shit. I'm talking about scalpers and crazy amounts of money, man. Uh, they had rising. GA shows at the fucking Coliseum. 
was a kid. It was cool. I was a little Skinner, probably Camp before Island, that, but KISW, they used to do these one dollar rising star shows KSW's at the Paramount. Rising star I shows. Rising star oh yeah, man. A fucking dollar, man. You see two major touring acts. So what? Well, it would be a dollar. Yeah. When they started in the late seventies, it was a dollar show. And everybody. I remember Rising Star shit. shit. That was the fact. That's how I grew up. Yeah, I saw you know? a Patty Smith group. Lenny K and everybody well, right I there. I saw him Patty Smith. I saw him down here. I yeah. saw her down here later. No, but it was like the heat of Easter, man. They were, they, you know, they, they were fucking on fire. Yeah. She was channeling Jimi Hendrix because Hendrix had played Patty's Paramount. Cool shit. I mean, that Patty's shit was cool heavy. Shit. Awesome I saw her here stuff. at the fucking. Fuck, I want to say the Greek. I think it was the Greek. Man, she was fucking killer. It was either that or the bowl. Oh man. I'm old of shit. Big, big shit. But yeah, those were amazing times, man. In the eighties, the nineties, all that shit. Yeah. You know, obviously the business changed so it's much the but fifteens now I'm still yeah, fucking man. breathing. I'm still playing rock and roll. Hardly. Barely. <laughs> I'm not uh, ready to read that obituary yet, man. Uh, yeah. I thought I was going out at forty nine. Once I hit fifty, I'm like, fuck, okay, so much loud. Just because just, my grandfather died at 49, I was like, fuck it. I, since just, I was like 13, I was like, 49 is the fucking the whammy. That's the checkout. Then a different shit happened to me last year, too. Nothing major, but fucking, it's, like, it's coming. When I hit 50, I was like, fuck. And I got to plan a bunch of other shit because I was already, didn't think I was going to be fucked up. And when I was really young, too, I thought I was like 30. So I was like, bad. We're still here, enjoying the shit, having fun, got good people, good friends around me. So, as a teenager, 30 sounded old as fuck. Fuck, I remember my mom turned 30, she got this little necklace, and I was like, damn. I was 13. Now you see people out there, man, kicking ass 60s, 70s, whatever, man. Nah, yeah, like, what, it was like 50s and new fucking. 20. You know, we still got some of the fucking fathers of rock and roll that are still alive. Can we give a fucking shout out to Little Richard, Chuck Berry, fuck and Jerry yeah. Lee Lewis? Those guys you know what I'm saying? You, I don't think any of those guys are still here. Like Little Richard is. No, they are all here. That's what I'm saying. Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Little Richard are still here. Really? Yeah, I'm not talking about those that passed. I'm talking about those that are still with us. Chuck Berry's still here? Chuck Berry's still living, man. He still does the odd show. So showing up in his Cadillac with his guitar? That's cool shit. You know, Mickey D from Motorhead's here. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah. Can we play with Motorhead? Yeah, man. He's out here. It's one of those tours uh, I've I seen mean, before. So. What can you say about Lemmy and some of these guys been doing it even longer? Fucking, that's awesome. I mean, I'm fucking, the bands I fucking grew up with are still fucking doing shit. Like Aerosmith, <laughs> yeah. Stones, fucking yeah. Motorhead. Fucking ACDC, man. ACDC, fucking Judas Priest, fucking. Yeah. Cool. It's good. I feel like still like the kid when I'm around those <laughs> motherfuckers. It's good. It still feels like the 70s or 80s, man, with them around. It just feels like I'm still like the little kid when I'm around those motherfuckers. You got a young posse. Yeah. I got other <laughs> fucking peeps around me that keep it fucking... <clears throat> keep it real. So all you've seen in the business, what advice do you give to the guys coming up? Just do, so what, you, do what you want to do. That's what I've always done. Who knows it's going to mean shit, but they should be like... Me, 50 years old, fucking, I'm just like, I've always done what I wanted to do. So it's like, fucking, give it your all. Don't, you know, don't puss out. So do it for the love of it first. Yeah, I mean, fucking, don't plan on being a rock star. Just hope, fucking, just, just be one. You know what I mean? Yeah. All you gotta do is fucking, Impress yourself. You know, write, write some cool shit. Have a good bunch of people around you too. Helps. You gotta have a good team. Oh. It's a family. Yeah, and shit, family shit changes too. People fucking, especially when you're young, doing shit when you're young. Yeah. You still don't know what the fuck you're doing yet. So it's like, right. Fucking everybody's got their own interests yeah. and yeah. having fucking a batch of guys that you play with, you know, everything gels and whatever is pretty fucking rare because usually it's after a few weeks, a month, 
you're already getting on somebody's nerves. You're, right. They're getting on yours, so. Yeah. Put yourself together with people you enjoy being around with first. They don't have to be the best players. Because you're all young. You all could fucking turn into the best players, you know what I mean? And fucking someone you bring in that doesn't know how to play bass, fucking show them how to play bass. They're a great person. Fucking pretty soon they're the fucking superstar, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. It's rock and roll. It's not rocket science. Man, man, it's crazy. Write some, write some cool shit, fucking. Yeah, talk enjoy, about writing. Enjoy your time with them. People that, the pain song. What about it? T talk about how that came about and nah, how writing, that changed your life. Just writing it down. It didn't change my life. It's written about my life. It didn't change anything about my life. You know, and that was written about my life. That right. was the shit. But wasn't it fucking crazy to hear that shit on the radio? Yeah, that totally. Personal? Totally. It was like fucking Casey Kasem counting oh, fucking man. shit down. On, yeah, it was fucking weird, but. Yeah. And still, we're all kids, 24 years old, and that shit was fucking rock and roll, cool, whatever. We didn't want to write a fucking ballad. Right. That wasn't our shit. Electra's screaming. So I asked us to, and then me, Greg, Greg's got, I got the slow idea, fucking, I got, cool. Fucking Tom and Fred from Cinderella, but just write it cool. So, try to write it cool. Okay, and it turned out all right. Yeah, so. man. It's got, a, it's got a history to it. It's one that we'll be playing for years, man. Talk about the new stuff. I know you got the live album. What's what's new? Working on new shit right now. I've just been fucking editing drums for the last couple of weeks and editing some guitar leads and shit. Uh, we'll do us doing an EP. We got like, I don't know, there's like 30 songs, but we're just going to put it out in batches because yeah. we're not going to go out and play a whole fucking record anyway. Right. So every time people want a bitch, oh, I want hear some new shit, and then the fucking you play a show, like, oh, why come you didn't play that? <laughs> yeah. So they all, yeah, they want to hear the old shit, but they want to play new shit. So, but I've always been the person where it's like I don't do shit for anybody. Yeah. I don't. I'm not in it for the fans. I'm in it to be fucking. I'm in it to dig what I do. So it's like. Enjoy. This is what we're playing. If you enjoy it, cool. If you don't, fucking, why come see us anyway? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like when we go out and play a show and stuff, we play the best songs that we can play. It's pretty amazing, man, that doing what you love to do is take, taking you all over the world and giving you an opportunity to meet so many incredible people fucking out there. Fucking killer. <laughs> what, what's one of the most exotic places you went to? It's just like pinch yourself time, man. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Just, here? I mean, you go all over these different places, but still, the U.S. has got the coolest fucking yeah. things. We, we all go to like Italy and like Germany and fucking Japan and Australia and shit. All of South America, it's all cool, but still, it's cool to go there because it's different and it's something new and whatnot. Yeah. But what it still comes down to is, is places like New Orleans, and Florida, and like yeah. Chicago, and Detroit, and fucking just just weird country, middle of yeah. middle of the country, just cool places in the U.S. and just it's just bitching, especially like this country is so big. Oh you know man, I mean? there's so many places. I mean, you could fit. You ready for me, brother? Yeah. You could fit Germany and Texas and France and California, man. Yeah, UK I mean, and Northern so, California. There's cool shit. There's like fucking shit I want to spend like time in. We went to Ireland, but we were only there for a day. Like, yeah. be able to fucking ride motorcycles. Yeah. It's one of my shit I want to do is ride in Europe. Yeah. Cool shit. 